the tape for this heavyweight fight. Silva is 14 years the elder. He is seven inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Ready? Ready? All right, so here we go. Round one. I can barely hear myself think of this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys of all the mixed martial arts. They keep everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. What a tricky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's a taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Effective punch there by Silva lands flush. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Silva gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Over and over, he's landed with big. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Nice to the punch. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip.
Several strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Silva gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. That one stuck in. Nice strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. That's a really strong leg kick there by Silva. he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold, know when, when to hold. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Punches block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, Ooh, diving punch lands. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening now round. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He might get a finish here. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. See, now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Silva Lance Flush. Lance with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick. Every time he throws. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he continues to do it. Oh, with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game.
a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 22 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider Silva! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.